California List. The California List is a political fundraising network to elect women to California state governors. Her founder, after, um, I used to work for Emily's List, left Emily's List, and started the California List, and we're modeled after Emily's List, and we have the same tremendous impact on electing women. Many of my, our candidates we previously endorsed are here today. We have Assemblywoman Mary Hayashi. that it's not just about federal office, but supporting women in local offices yeah. in the state Woo. legislature. Yeah. I need to give Tina Duvall, where did she go? <laughs> Another round of applause. Tina. Tina. Yeah. Yeah. And I want to thank several sponsors that made this event possible today. The Los Angeles County Federation of Labor. Uh. Yeah. The Pacific Gas and Electrics in the house. Yeah. Southern California Edison. Yeah. And the consumer attorneys all made this event possible. And I hope that we will all leave here inspired to follow one day after King's birthday, the day we inaugurate our president, to recommit to fighting for social and economic justice because that's what we saw today a few hours ago. Let me just take one more minute to introduce uh, some other assembly members that are here. I saw Sandra Swanson in the hey, house. Hey, Sandra! I saw Tino in the house. Yay. I saw Bob Blumenfeld in the house. Yay. I saw our former member that we let go of for, for another purpose in LA from the state senate to the Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors, Mark Ridley Thomas. Yay. And former Senator Jack Scott. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I hope I didn't miss any of the other members. I wanted to give respect to to the uh, members of the legislature, our male members, who are very supportive of the women. And thank you for coming here tonight. Thank you very, very much. And let me just say that I am very 
very happy, in spite of all of the challenges we have for solving this $41 billion deficit, oh, I'm very happy to say that my partner in doing that, for us to figure out, and we were both inspired today, so I think we have some new ideas to go back, yeah. Woo. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> and go back on Thursday to solve that budget problem. Three. Let me just introduce my partner, Daryl Steinberg. Yeah. Speaker, there's nothing that can hold us back now, right? Yeah. You better believe it. It's so wonderful to be with you and to be working with you through these difficult, challenging, but times of opportunity as well. And that's what today represents in such a significant, significant way. I want to introduce a couple other people who uh, are in the crowd. The great Dolores Huerta is here. Yeah. Congressman Brad Sherman is here. Thank you. I know I have two of my colleagues here. Senator Mark Desonier is here. And Senator Lou Correa. Where's Lou? Big Lou. Anybody else? Okay. You know, I want to thank Bettina as well and the California's List for your groundbreaking work. Today means so much to this country and to the world, but I think the number one thing it means to me is that barriers are meant to be broken. There's nothing that we can't do. There's no place where a person can strive to become whatever they want to be, no matter who they are. That's the Barack Obama story, that's the California's List story, that's the story of this country, and it's going to be the story of the next eight years in this country. And so let us celebrate tonight. You know, somebody was saying to me earlier, a hundred years from now, 200 years from now, 300 years from now, this day will be remembered in history. And we were all part of it January 20th night. Let's have a great time and let's get to work. Thank you very much. I just want to say thank you all very much for coming, and let's just go enjoy the next eight years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay.